And our next story takes us inside an operating room showing us something that has never been done in Canada. A 74 year old man from Burlington was the first patient in this country to have a fully robotic surgical process to remove cancer from the esophagus. As Manisa Denabalan tells us, St. Joseph's Healthcare Hamilton is the first hospital in the country to do it. David Patterson was diagnosed with esophageal cancer last year. When he had to get surgery, he was given two options the traditional process, or he could be the first to receive a robotic esophagectomy. He chose to give the new method a try. Never been done. They had been trained on it, and it, it seemed quite confident. This form of cancer has one of the highest mortality rates and requires major surgery to address. This has traditionally been an operation that's being done with large incisions in the chest and in the belly. Uh, takes about six to eight hours to complete and it's usually associated with a high rate of complications and uh, six months recovery. Complications from the traditional surgery for esophageal cancer is how Jackie Dean Rowley lost her 31-year-old daughter. Rachel Chavallo died in 2013. The main thing that they do in that sort of surgery is after they remove the portion of the esophagus, they take the stomach and they pull it up and they make a new esophagus with the stomach. So there's so much trauma involved in that. Um, and they make a number of incisions. Dr. Wa Alhana wanted to improve this process. He started researching fully robotic esophagectomy, which was being performed in the United States. The surgery uses robotic arms, which allows patients to recover and move on to chemotherapy faster. Imagine if I had to put my hand in the patient's chest or two of my hands in the patient's chest to do the operation, the incision would have to be that big. But if I put very small eight millimeter arms and was able to control them from the outside, the incision would be that big. And that is the difference in, in, in the recovery. After having surgery in March, David Patterson is in remission now. And he's happy Dr. Hanna gave him the option. It's uncomfortable, but uh, it's getting better. So this particular patient went home in eight days. Uh, but most people after the traditional uh, operation would be in hospital between 10 and 14 days. But since it's still fairly new, the robotic surgery isn't funded by OHIP. It relies on donations from uh, very generous donors, philanthropists, institutions, hospitals. Dean Rowley always wanted to give back to a hospital in honor of her daughter. So when she saw Dr. Hannah's research, she made a $10,000 donation. That was exactly how we wanted um, you know, that little piece of money to be put to good use in Rachel's memory. Dr. Hanna says they're still researching the speed of recovery and quality of life differences. Manisa Danabalan, CHCH News.